For nearly a decade, the Albuquerque Police Department has been answering to federal monitors, part of a settlement agreement to bring major reform to the police department. Now the city is announcing its own internal team to monitor officer discipline and ongoing reform. And they hope it leads to the end of federal oversight. News 13's Annalisa Pardo explains. It could mean the end of federal oversight for the Albuquerque Police Department. At least the city hopes. So we're going to obviously listen and learn from best practices, but we're not always going to take them. We're going to do what we think is best for us. After nearly 10 years of trying to reform and comply with the federal settlement agreement known as CASA, the city is now creating its own monitoring team to oversee ongoing reform and fair discipline within APD. We obviously couldn't have gotten here without the journey that we've gone through with respect to CASA. But this now sets us up going forward to not have uh, the consent decree and to not have a monitor and to still demonstrate a commitment to real reform ongoing perpetually at the Albuquerque Police Department. The office is led by Superintendent Eric Garcia, who is responsible for overseeing internal monitoring and discipline. He says APD used to have about 20 disciplinary personnel within the department, but with so many people handling these cases, they struggled with consistency. Now they have four. Now all discipline is fair and consistent throughout the entire department. He answers directly to the mayor's office, but also updates Chief Harold Medina on use of force investigations reform, and disciplinary actions. He says this allows the chief to focus on day-to-day -day operations. Other members of the team include monitors overseeing police training, misconduct and discipline, and use of force. Two local former judges serve in two of the roles. The third is held by a use of force expert out of Nevada. We wanted a blend of local uh, judicial perspective, but also outside expertise that will bring in those national best practices. The mayor says a key part to getting out from under the federal oversight is showing self-monitoring is sustainable. So in a way, it's like preventing a CASA down the road. And so had we had this set up, I think everyone agrees we would have never needed the CASA in the first place. Annalisa Pardo, Care QE, News 13. According to the city, the outside monitor and the city have recently agreed to end nearly one third of the original requirements in the agreement because of the city's compliance. A federal judge will soon review the city's progress.